Welcome back to the Bruderhof YouTube channel. In this last week before Christmas, um, very exciting. Yeah, the countdown is on. The countdown is on and we've been going full bore Christmas activities. Mm -hmm. um, this week we're looking forward to in Woodcrest a school play of a beautiful story called The City That Forgot About Christmas. So I'm looking forward to that. One of my kids is in that show. What else has been happening, Doreen? Hmm. Um, wow, it just seems like everything, be it well organized or more spontaneous, is definitely geared towards Christmas. Um, something that's meant a lot to me is the choir practices we've been having, where, I mean, just we're, we're singing saisons. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. The Christmas Oratorio. The Christmas Oratorio. And, and it is quite a gorgeous piece. It definitely grows on you. It grew on yeah. me for sure. So just singing through those words, very very simple and very straightforward. We're singing much of it in Latin, which is fun. Right. <laughs> but it's it's mostly just words from the Bible, Mary's, yeah. uh, the Magnificat, um, and other mm -hmm. um, parts from the Christmas story. That is beautiful. Yes. And then all the meetings we've been having, preparing for Christmas, and the message of that. And I think for me, the best part of Christmas is joy in the fact that Jesus was born and that he can now live in our hearts and that we carry that through the rest of the year and it kind of for me it always just gives courage for whatever is ahead and and to look forward to the new year and hopefully everyone out there is also feeling encouraged i know christmas can sometimes be a difficult time yeah for folks um but let's take joy in the fact that everything will turn out right and to share some light with you uh for the second part of this video, we'd like to show you a video production of the Darvel walkthrough. Darvel is our, one of our communities in England, and for mm -hmm. the past several years, they've been hosting a walkthrough of their community with various celebrations, <clears throat> um, cookie making, uh, a Santa train, a brass band, and then most importantly, a live nativity at the end. And they had 4,000 people show up for this event. That's insane. <laughs> and I was talking to my brother who lives over there, and he said definitely the most meaningful part for people was everyone enjoyed, you know, the snow, and the, uh, they had fake snow, and they had the lights. But the most meaningful part really was the nativity. And this year, they projected um, the Christmas story from the Gospel of Luke on a screen by the nativity. And people remarked how it was just a great chance for them to talk to their kids and say, yes, you know, Christmas is about Santa and, and the Grinch and whatever, but this is the real meaning of it. This is why we um, celebrate this season. So a very great event. Um, glad it was a success and hope you enjoyed this little video montage. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>
Tree tops. Uh-huh. 